After Buzz TV. Hi, I was one. You're listening to the After Buzz TV network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after show entertainment. Very good, from the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for Happy Endings. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest Happy Endings news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off, and the buzz continues, it's After Buzz TV for Happy Endings. That is correct. <laughs> happy Endings right here on AfterBuzzTV.com. I am uh, sitting in the center, which is a little different for me. So I'm looking right at the camera, and I am welcoming you to watch us. Uh, my name is Ronnie Jr. Again, like I said, Happy Endings on ABC. Such a fantastic, funny show. And when you are amongst your day-to-day -day grind and you're busy and life is just throwing you all these... I would like to say almost like reality TV scenarios your own, in your own world, you know, where you're like, oh, you almost sound dramatic in your own life sometimes. So why not unplug from that and come watch a show, a scripted show on ABC, <laughs> which is just literally hysterical. Some great cast members, the whole thing. Of course, we always welcome everybody on Twitter at AfterBuzz TV, but we, of course, want to start our show today by welcoming... Prentice Penny, uh, who is tweeting with us constantly, and the reason is we have been playing a... I don't know if Kelly agrees with me. <laughs> of course, here, let me uh, break down my co-host real quick. We have Kelly <laughs> Oliski hanging out. Hello. And she's a Twitter social media maven, publicist, the whole thing. And the spiciest woman on the West Coast, Spicy Maricela. What up, what up, what up. Um, you know, Prentice Penny is a writer on ABC's Happy Endings, and I believe it was a little Twitter friendly uh, conversation where he was like, Ronnie, you got to get my name right. <laughs> so I'm going to tell him a hundred times, Prentice Penny, not only do we support you 100%, but we got your name correct and we're glad you are supporting us and enjoying the show. I mean, because really, another great episode. Ladies, what did you think of the episode called The Butterfly Effect Effect? Super cute. Super <laughs> oh, really cute. <laughs> so since the we best way to describe it. Cute. So really since cute. we've been watching this show, you guys don't even talk the same way anymore. Right. We you, talk like them. You never say the words amazing. Like amazing. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I think it was with Kelly on Saturday. We were watching episodes of Eastbound and Down, and yeah. we find ways to like quote or, or speak like Penny, you know. The abbreviations. Yeah, ab the abbreviations, <laughs> exactly. Um, so, so today's episode, um, the entire story is about um, the annual spring, what do we call it, the spring smackdown? Smackdown, yes. Annual spring smackdown. So I guess every year, Brad and Jane, they they have this big argument. And the whole group, because this is, you know, like a group of friends. It's like the TV show Friends or How I Met Your Mother, but a different version of it. They look forward to this spring smackdown right. so much to the point where they've got T-shirts, uh, Team Jane, which I got to look adorable. at you. That is adorable. I, I got to <laughs> look at you. I mean... Uh, for me, it's always Team Jane. She <laughs> is hysterical, you know. She she was funny this episode. I thought it was cute the way that they incorporated the spring smackdown as like Groundhog Day, okay. and it's the transition from winter to spring. And without their argument, yeah. they can't move forward in the seasons. Yeah, and, and there's a lot to talk about with uh, Brad and Jane, which I definitely want to get into because every episode, uh, Kelly and I are like, "Oh, Jane is really funny. We really just push for you to get there." And I know and you're <laughs> in, now that we don't care to push for it anymore. It's kind of happening, right? Isn't I that yeah. the, I will admit, I love Jane with Brad. Like, oh. I think that they're at the. I think she's at her funniest when she delivers her lines with him, like when they're a pair. Yeah, you know no, they're great together. It they seems really like are. everyone is hitting home runs on this show. Every every character. The funny thing is, a lot of the show does have to do with Dave, but yet he's the one who we never, not in a bad way at all, but we never have like great quotes from his character. But he is still mm. fun to watch. You know what I mean? Um, Max had how many lines? You get ladies. How many lines did Max oh, have? Oh God, like a scroll. She was <laughs> on fire this episode. Oh no, 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 Max. Max oh Max, uh, I thought you were talking about. I'm sorry, I, I was Alex, thinking of yeah. Alex. <laughs> uh, Max, we'll, we'll get to I'm sorry, I love Alex. I'm we'll, we'll get to Alex, Alex in a second. Max, who played a uh, uh, bear. Oh, he had no lines. <laughs> 
a lot of grunts. Yeah, he, so he was kind of like in the whole, like you said, uh, spring, uh, you know, in order to be the groundhog. or well, Why was he a bear uh, the, the entire Because episode. it's wintertime. He hibernates. He does not yeah. like the winter. So in order to survive, you know, he has to stock his food up, and he sleeps the entire time. He's eating honey and performing tricks. <laughs> yeah, and all season he's always about eating two, bre- you know, breakfast and lunch, you know, three different I times. Feel so. like, I feel like he was doing everything, every single thing typical of a bear this episode, like yeah. anything that you can think of. Yeah. From a performing bear to Yogi Bear, <laughs> he was doing it all. <laughs> Everything. It was um, really funny. It's funny to have a, a character on the show where he, he really didn't have a line at all. That was his whole, he just the, whole the whole episode. Um, he had some good episodes uh, previously. Um, and then we also have uh, Alex, who we have said she is Okay, great. More, now for Alex. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I think Kelly, too, and Mari. I mean, we all really like Alex. I've said it, you know, over and over. She's more adorkable, which is the quote that they use on the New Girl series, than than uh, Zoe Deschanel. Like she's really, Two really good. Um, I got a couple quotes on it, but first of all, just give me you guys' impression on some of the things she did on this episode, because she did say super cute, right? Wasn't that right, her? She, well, she was saying yeah. cute with Penny. So of course, like Penny is the the lead for any kind of word that's new to our vocabulary that's amazing on the show. Yeah. But count was the word of the day. And so, of course, <laughs> yeah. she, like, copies what Penny says. But I think that she delivered some uh, phenomenal lines this episode that weren't just funny. But I think that she's by far the best actress on the show as well. I lo- I, like, I believe her. I believe right. her when she's being smart, when she's being funny, when she's being witty, every single scene. Um, I, well, I don't know what parts stood out for you, but... um. When they were all kind of realizing, oh, the Brad and Jane, and she she comes, uh, she's on the couch, and she, you know, gets up and she looks at her friends and she says, oh, "It's the butterfly yeah. effect." <laughs> yeah. And so you're, think, you're you're thinking you're yeah. thinking she's actually in tune to what they're saying, and she's like, "This movie, it's funny. We were just talking about this right. movie. Right, it's on. And but what she was saying, the butterfly effect, was about what they were talking about, and they're like. And she was, you know, kind of breaking it down. And they're like, there's a word for that. And they're like, Alex, it's the butterfly effect. She goes, I know. That's what I was. I'm watching that TV show. <laughs> yeah. Um, did, the did movie. You not, did, yeah, the movie. <laughs> did you not hear me? Like, it's just. She, she Which play- is funny to me because the butterfly effect is one of my favorite movies. Oh, is it? Yeah. I love the butterfly effect. Yeah. Did yeah. you hear what she said? Like, that was the effect that started Ashley. And I was so, many so bad mad movies. about that comment. <laughs> as much as I love Alex, I can't believe she let those words come Meaning out of her what? mouth. It was an outstanding it movie. It was great. I believe in that concept. I really believe in that. And I wish that I could actually experience <laughs> that butterfly effect from ev- I love everything about that movie. Yeah. You and know, <laughs> one of my favorite things is I love how they kind of bag on other celebrities they in the do. show. Yeah. They, they did, they did so a few of them today. They with the Re- Renee Zellweger, the ch- oh, chipmunk. Oh, that was hilarious. Oh, and that was Alex, physical, that was good Alex physical did that comedy. perfectly. Yeah. What, yeah. What, what was the what was what was where were we was going? It was a with that? chipmunk glass. Yeah, or well right? Renee Zellweger, she has these like cheeks and she always yeah. makes this like Zoolander face <laughs> and and you know, she looks like a little chipmunk in her face and and she she mimicked that expression, everything, yeah. perfectly. And and can we agree that we do write notes, you know, when we watch any television program here, but when you watch Happy Endings, you miss it if you're not looking oh, yeah, we at the facial, a yeah, the facial reactions. I'm the, telling you, this show is tongues. like an ADD person's dream. There's so, <laughs> many things, there's so many things going on. There's no way your eyes will ever get bored. Yeah. Like, you have to pay attention to so many things at the same time. Like, it's hard to write notes. You have to just watch right. and pay attention. Right, I'm like, shoot, I missed that. Go yeah. back. <laughs> And I feel like it's such a thrill that obviously I do this show with you guys here on After Buzz. We recap, you know, this sh- this show and other shows. But um, I have a fair amount of, you know, hanging out with you, you know, uh, socially and, and Kelly. Uh, we, we all get to hang out a lot. And I think that when we're in a group, we will know exactly what each other are, are talking about because we have – it's called like the, the happy endings effect on us because we <laughs> speak like the characters right, right. a little bit now. Um, those those quick we jokes. We have our own language. The, we have beats. like the sister language. Exactly. The so, Alex and Jane sister language. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't see that very much where Penny was feeling a little jealous, right? I she mean, was this was out. This was when Penny – felt really good about herself because she's like oh they're gonna get in the argument yeah. and and usually jane's the one who's in control but now i'm gonna be the one in control i'm gonna be rocking it out with my angela bassett by bassett angela oh or- my god bassett angela, pants by angela <laughs> the bassett i want some of those bassett pants really make pants Tweet that ass. Uh, I want to really find out. Does Angela really Bassett do you make pants? Line. Or like, where did that come from? Like, who decided that that was? And yeah. Angela Bassett of all people. I've never even heard of this clothing line. And not only that, it, it, I'm assuming it is fake, but I'm, I'm not certain. But my point is, for them, 
it's like they say the joke, and then later on you're watching the show and you're like, oh, those are the pants. Like the jokes Please just, tell me they, they really they just hit, it, they hit, you're like, back. why is she wearing that? Oh, it's the Angela Bassett pants. And then while you're ready to laugh at that, they hit you like somewhere else. It's, it's just, I'm telling you, I talk about this show way too much to, to other other people. It's all, <laughs> oh, well, do you watch ABC's Happy Endings? I mean, it's really that you good. You guys have me hooked. Okay. Um, I, I like how they were coming up with what was going to be the big fight. Like, they knew that Brad and Jane, the, the group, the group of friends, yeah. Brad and Jane, oh, what is going to cause the big fight? So I like, these were just small speculations of what uh, it could have been. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, Brad did a spit talk on, on Jane, and that could have started <laughs> it right there. It's just they say the, these these random things, and uh, th- this was just in, in accordance to the group, you know, trying to find out what was going to get them to get in an argument. And then initially they don't really get in the argument. They No, I mean, I thought that it was, of course, the whole essence of happy endings for them to plot to try to sabotage their friends to make a fight. Uh-huh. You know, every single episode we always see them coming together and they're getting into some kind of trouble. Right. They're doing something. And so, and what they were trying to do didn't even work. Jane and, <laughs> and Brad were already on to them. Right. With the whole... What ex girlfriend Facebook? The fa- yeah, yeah, the, the fake, Facebook. The yeah, fake <laughs> problem that they yeah. Like fight. Yeah. Um, and then the, the 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 comedy aspect of them being outside and yelling. Did you guys think that was one? Oh, of... that was hilarious. Hilarious. Okay, I I I will say that was one of my <laughs> not absolute favorite happy no, endings moment. I love but I acting. the the them being outside and all the he friends. Didn't think that that was the funniest moment when they're going back and forth and faking the fight. I thought that was so funny. Okay, good. Well, this is good. Good. You have an opinion what? on it. Well, 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 the question is, what was some of the things that stood out on that? Where where did you... Well, I thought it was... I thought it was just a little longer than it needed to be. I and I say that with funny. love because I love the show. Okay. Well, I thought, well, I I thought it was... Well, they, they needed... I thought that it was great because they needed to go the distance for their friends. And that just shows what they do for their friends. Yeah. And the fact that they really, like, took it to that level and were grunting and making the faces and talking yeah. about silly, like, real things, but in well, that... Well, way. Well, up to it was even funnier than the fight. When, yeah. When, uh, oh, by the Facebook comment? When, when Brad, yeah, said um, about, you know, I don't say, I don't say anything when... Malik and Jamal and <laughs> what do you say? Yeah. I don't know. He said all these like Which is kind <laughs> of borderline not all really. These, yeah. I mean, it's definitely names. racist, but okay, we knew what uh, he was talking According we, to we, her. Yeah, I can say it. We, but we knew what he was talking about. He was trying to imply like all the other black men that Jane Are you wearing the Angela Bassett pants I am right now? The Angela Bassett pants for those of you at home. They do oh, exist. A whole, a, whole, a whole standing up here on our, our Studio B set. Um. There was just a lot of really good things. In regards to that argument, I did think it was funny, but I thought it was a little longer than it needed to be. No, it was definitely long because at, at one point you're kind of just like, uh, Well, uh, I think uh, the uh, beginning uh, part, although it needed to be done, was the part that I was less interested in because then it was just like a joke, a joke, a joke. But then when they started talking, like you say, real life, and it was very personality-driven to the sense where Brad would tell her something, and Jane would say, no, I haven't decided to shred my papers yet. Oh, I don't. I, 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 I like to bill pay online. Like the things that are – so relatable she to the way to have she, a hard copy. Yeah, yeah. That, which I understand. I kind of get scared to throw away my bills. Yeah. So I kind of I was sympathized with her in that moment. I was oh like, yeah, no, girl, I'm with you. I got the e bills a long time ago. Yeah. I don't I know, need the paper. But, 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 I'm scared to but do you see what I don't need the paper? <laughs> do you see what do you want to see what I'm saying though? Like the the, the argument and it being funny was one thing, but once it became so relatable to the way Jane yes, actually talks because Kelly started laughing I always like I feel like I watch the show then I watch Maddie's laughing and then I watch you yours and we all we all chuckle together and someone takes the lead most of, you, <laughs> most of the time it's her and she took the lead because you were you were loving you were laughing and chuckling and then I got there too as far as the humor once it became about Jane and her spazzy type A personality thing which I really enjoyed yeah I like how she said that she hasn't acted this much since she pretended to celebrate kwanzaa yeah yeah we, we did rewind that too we rewound, that. We rewound this show and more than we usually things, like you looked great in that kind of drama, by the way. Yeah, yeah. That's I, what... I could just imagine her wearing that and i'm just like shaking my head, shaking my head. um going back to alex um i yes. I, I i like this pump. there was yeah there was just so many things to talk about with alex um i like the way penny said well she definitely beats to the what is it? She beats to the beats to a slow beat of her own drum. <laughs> she mar- like she marches, marches to the, to the beat, beat of, of a very drum. slow drummer, <laughs> and it's just you know that is Alex 100 percent and and the goofiness. But for me, the best part was the butterfly effect of her just being sitting down. They're talking about something. She pops up and says. Oh, 
you know what it is? It's mm-hmm. the butterfly effect, and really, she was just talking about watching the television oh, program. Oh, shout out to Alex because or a movie. I hope not sporadically. Oh, I <laughs> the Clueless love Clueless. Reference. Yeah. Okay. I grew up. That was my ish. Yeah. So when you t- when you make any reference to Clueless. I love, love, love that film. Well, and, and it was a good setup, right? It was a good like, setup. I mean, so, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how was it set up? Break, break, break that one oh, down. Oh, because she was talking about what the film that they were going to watch. Like, she was going to say that she was going to watch Clueless as opposed to talking about Brad with Jane. Yeah. And when she suggested that, Jane was like, oh, yeah, let's do it. But she was saying that she'll see them later or something, hopefully not sporadically. But that's yeah. a, a famous line that Brad oh, yeah. Murphy delivered in the film Clueless yeah. that everybody totally recognizes when we heard yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And so I love that. I was like, yeah. I know, and the, these writers, they go to those things that make you go back to your, uh, They reference, like, you know, everything ten that years ago current or current from your childhood. Well, yeah, even when Brad was saying he wanted to rage chill and he wanted to rage and watch, he catch yes. up on Downton Abbey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's, he's, but did he say rage chill instead of rage spin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious, too. Uh, and then, and, well, and then, and then we get to the point where Jane actually is like, we really did have a fight. And then the fight, because uh, the other girls were like, oh, well, we didn't realize. Or they were kind of confused. They're like, wait, you've been fighting for two days. What do you mean you just right. had a fight? Um, and their fight really was just about the door being open. That was it. About who? That was who it. Who left the doors so open. So all these, like, real reasons to fight. That's why they argued? Do you, I mean. But I think even in the beginning when Alex was first talking about their fight, they fought over something silly, too. Oh, all the like time. Like the last. Yeah, I think every time it was always, petty. always something yeah. petty. Yeah. But, of course, Penny swooped in and was able to do her mending job like she usually does. Yeah. They are so corny that I love Brad and Jane. They're the per- – you – oh, well, I wanted you to grow your hair out longer. And then Jane tells Brad, I want you to grow your hair out longer. I liked it when your hair was longer. They just say these offbeat things that are <laughs> – Brazilian? Oh, that was oh, – uh, yes. Was that what they said, Brazilian? Yeah, yeah. because he – I think it was – a, well, they were talking a about Brazilian, like a bikini wax. A, a manzillion, yeah. Him, it would be the Brazilian. And, and, and then he, but he kept it going and he said, the Oh, it, testicle. <laughs> he said it? testicle. Yeah, he, yeah. he said, he goes, um, Okay, he said, Well, wait. Oh, because somebody said th- that doesn't exist. What was it? No, no, well, he wasn't watching the show. No, no he, he said, said no, Somebody was, was saying, What? A, a scrotum? A scrotum shoe. Uh, no, it no, no. It, it was, was this like simple. It was like this simple. Like they were saying it. Testicles or scrotum. I'm telling you. If you but let, it was if, a, a, a scrotum. A scrotum. A scrotum is the same thing as testicles. We were, we were, we were gonna, we were gonna build close. it. We were gonna build it. But okay. <laughs> I knew what it was called seven we'll minutes ago. I knew what it was called seven minutes ago. But I was gonna build up how they said it. But anyway, we just got right to it. Okay. Oh, but you guys didn't laugh at that the first time. I div- I rewound on well, the because DVR. Because I was taking my notes. You had to go back. That's what I was. Like, oh, I was like, did grossy. somebody miss that? Like, yeah, honestly, it's I not really that. I mean, that's like boy funny. That's not. Well, no, that's I, what had, I was, I I was had like, an I mean, that was this moment when I first. But it was also the way. I was like, wait. Oh, oh I get it. And it was also the I mean, way Brad. Funny, but because Brad defended it, and that that was another. Well, then at the end, Max said this was the last time he'll do it to himself. Like he gave. Did you catch that? No, I missed that. He gave gave himself a Brazilian. I write notes and then I miss everything. (laughs) Oh my gosh. We need like two runnings to watch yeah, this. I know. We, we, have to watch it. we, have to go we need to watch it online. We need a, <laughs> a, a screener copy. Or, I mean, really, like for a sitcom. Just, just send us the script so they. <laughs> I mean, for a sitcom, really, like that's uh, that is just too much. Absolutely. Oh, and I like. Um, well, of course, Brad is always funny to me. Um, mm-hmm. I always love Damon uh, Wayne's. But D W two. When he mm-hmm. says, "I'm the opposite of out." I'm in. I'm like, so in, yeah. I thought that was really cute because remember when you were younger, you used to have opposite day and you had to say everything opposite. I thought that was really Is that cute. where that was from? Uh, or just, well, just, just kind of the way relate, he did it? Yeah. yeah, it was the way he did it. I related it to his, my his physical, <laughs> His physical? You were related to the whole episode. <laughs> yeah, this episode was all me from Clueless to Butterfly Effect. Yeah. Oh, so this was one of your favorite ones. This is this. I love this episode. I liked it. it okay, I I've don't got, know like, that it was... Got, like, a, I've got... Oh, oh little I see that friend fly. flying the, around. The butterfly effect <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, oh no, oh. <laughs> now he's visiting you. <laughs> and the funny thing is, on camera, probably nobody can see it. So nobody can see it. So, so we're, we're, all, crazy. we're all just. <laughs> now we're totally just crazy. Here. Yeah. Um, well, it's dead now. <laughs> <laughs> he killed it. It's gone. <laughs> um, anything uh, interesting quotes that stood out? I would assume that most of them were Penny. As always, I think Penny had well, the, the best the, lines. Well, you know. The douche week oh, and I was the cute. Yeah. yeah, people are liking that. Yeah. Um, 
And I like I really liked Alex's old like going back to sleepovers. She was They're putting cute. the bras in the freezer, made it look like um <laughs> Penny peed in the bed. And she told her, you know, that's what you get for falling asleep first. All right. These, she was really all picking on her like you did. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What did. This she... really was a childhood episode. Yeah, it was. I, I it was the reminiscing that. episode. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. because as women too, we'll go back. We'll have our girlfriends come over. Or at least I still do and have summer parties and try to, you know, get the old thing back with your mm. girlfriend. So I thought that was really cute that they did that this episode. But yeah. we don't do the whole, you know, put your hands in like a bucket of water, make you pee in the bed thing. We're kind of too old <laughs> for that. But I thought that was cute that Alex was doing that kind of stuff. Well, what, was the, what were some of the things she did on, on this one? The bras. Well, she, they put the bras in the freezer. Okay. And then, do you, yeah, she put her pee in oh, the bed. and, and then <laughs> the cell phone. She changed all the names oh, yeah. and Penny's phone oh. to oh. penis. <laughs> Now that would and, piss and, me off. Well, and, and, <laughs> you know how and, long and, it well, takes to change the And Penny names got <laughs> Penny got a little angry about it, and Alex just she sits there real real cute, like she's she like, would, oh that's she, so mean. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> who would do that. Just the way she laughs is just too much. She's killing it. This this actress, she's oh. really doing. A good I love I love 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 her. It's so hard for I feel like women sometimes to deliver like amazing comedy and be cute at the same time. Uh huh. Nails it every single time. Love mm-hmm. you, Alex. Is she uh, amazing? She's amazing, and she's so cute. <laughs> I like it at the beginning when she really didn't know what they were thinking. She's like, let's all say it at the same time. Yes. That was what I wanted to say. <laughs> and yes. She like to, to, and then she tries to join in. Yeah. As I've told you guys at the beginning, like when I first started watching the show, you're like sort of having things that connect you to like, oh, that character is the mean one or the nice one or the whatever. And then as I'm watching Alex's character, I'm like, oh, she's like the – offbeat can't tell a joke and she's she says the wrong thing i'm like, talking about relating to a character you know i'm like <laughs> i always make the joke after everyone else makes it or before everyone makes it so i was like oh she's she's cool i like her and she did it on this episode i was yes. so glad that they i think they visited that before like this ain't the she first does time that, she, i think she does it at least once on every episode oh, that was, because this even was a good the one, last though. even like the valentine's day episode you know when they were all doing the the words that start with M that don't yeah. really start with M, and she actually said a word that really did start with M and messed up the whole thing. <laughs> it's like, like I think she always kind of does that. Yeah, How that's about the yeah. episode when Max wanted one of the girls to go on the date with him, and he, she wanted to be Larissa, and he went he went to Jane, and then Larissa's like, I want to do it, but I want to be Larissa. And then <laughs> Jane was like, no. Then he went to Penny, and Penny said, no, I want to do it, but I want to be Larissa. And then, and then she finally went to her, no, I don't want to be Larissa anymore. Like, she's just so, like, she just <laughs> wants to be so involved. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's the best. She's a standout character for sure. Um, Any other comments on the episode? Cause, but that was really good, That that the fact that she missed the beat. Let's say it together. <laughs> and she would. Well, she didn't say it together. She's always a little slow on the jokes, but she. Her, but I mean, her delivery is phenomenal, and I think the way she does, looks around. She's brilliant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She goes. We're all thinking the same thing, right? And yeah. like, drew it in and everything. And I it, thought it was it funny work. that they all somehow coursed or made uh, Brad pay for the dinner at the end. Like, yeah, how did he right. get stuck with that? Because he usually does it for, like, douche, you know, douche week. Yeah. But not for, like, when they all make up and they're friends and happy. But he has to pay for them all to go to steak. To, you know, steak dinner. Yeah, yeah. No, As he, he should, I think. for him. Why? Because <laughs> he just should. That's, like, that's well, not Max is not going to pay. Like, we, we know Max barely has a job. Max can pay, too. No. Well, Brad has the nicest house. I mean, maybe it's just one of those <laughs> but things. But he's like, I don't want to pay. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, but, yeah, Max is not going to pay because they barely – and Mr. Stake Me Home Tonight is not going to pay. I mean, he's probably just barely scraping. That's my, true. So. What was up with them playing baseball in the beginning? Was that – was that? Oh, that an announcer anything? voice was fun, too. Oh, yeah, announcer voice. Oh, and funny. then the Cubs, like, oh, he doesn't yeah, want – Yeah, with his Cubs. And they're, they're yeah, in Chicago and they're really Cubs. I mean, it's just a lot of really good stuff that, that – Max with the fake bears in his arms. Yeah. That was hilarious. The little Cubs, yeah. That mm-hmm. was hilarious. And they all were, like, getting prepared to bathe mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. And then when he found out that it was steak, he's like, let's go for <laughs> His it. His hand in the honey. <laughs> or when um, <laughs> when he gets, when Dave gets dressed up and he's wearing the black leather jacket, he comes out and, um, <laughs> God, I, I and, and Brad's like, what's up, Blade? <laughs> <laughs> I do forget about Dave in this episode. Where would you even find a jacket like that? Like, <laughs> Remember at the beginning, Alex was like, you really should be embarrassed about that. He's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not there yet. <laughs> that was a super cool jacket, though. <laughs> Oh my God. Where? Where would you find that? Jacket? He only pulled well, it out during douche. No, you know what? Oh, and re- they, reference to what you say. Their clothing. Their clothing. Yeah, yeah. Dave oh, has Monday always has Tuesday, I wore the craziest clothing. Like I feel like for all fashion, 
um, Dave. Oh, he Dave. gets it all. He gets all the crazy fashion. Mm-hmm. Something they always make a fashion reference to him every episode. Yeah. Whether it's a V neck, whether it's you know his scarf. I'll whether have you know on Sunday episode. and Monday I wore a V neck. I might no not today. I like V necks on. Guys. I wore on Sunday and Monday, and as you stated, it makes your neck look a little longer. It does it longer. So <laughs> makes you look a little thinner, even if you have a fat face and you've been eating a lot of hamburgers. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I thought that was a good tip, Happy Endings. You, you helped me out there. Um, anything else about the episode? Do we have anything else to recap? Shall we hit a commercial and then talk more about yeah. this great yeah, show? Yeah, let's do that. Let's hit a commercial right now. Happy Endings. This was the Butterfly Effect. Effect. Oh. After Buzz <laughs> TV. Hi. I was once like you, a lazy, angry loner whose only joy was watching TV and surfing the net. And like you, after I'd see one of my favorite TV shows, I'd be so excited and have so many questions that I'd actually have to talk to my douchebag coworkers about it at the water cooler. Then I discovered AfterBuzzTV.com. AfterBuzz TV produces after-show webcasts and podcasts for TV series of all kinds, like post-game wrap-up shows for all your favorite TV shows. AfterBuzz TV hosts are industry insiders who break down episodes of shows, take calls from fans, and interview cast and crew from each series with over 60 different after shows from Boardwalk Empire to American Idol to Vampire Diaries to Real Housewives and more. Now, after a night of TV, I can ignore my stupid co-workers, who I hate, and go straight to my desk and watch or listen to all my favorite AfterBuzz TV after shows and have all the TV fan interaction I need. Thank you, AfterBuzz TV. AfterBuzz TV. What do you want to buzz about? Hello. Uh. We are back. <laughs> we are back. Um, <laughs> adjusting our microphones and trying to give you... The greatest little happy endings after show recap on AfterBuzzTV.com. Do you like the energy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. happy endings. I forget it every time that it's like a spicy you and dirty word. But but it, re- it really it really is um, kind of the case when um, what was a couple weeks ago happy endings and Valentine's Day when you do in the search engines on Bing or whatnot to get the iTunes like we had the highest iTunes numbers for our for our particular show because happy endings kind of a dirty word I guess yeah. but I always forget that I just think so sincere like happy endings <laughs> like just a swell show a swell face. show and then I forget that it's more about make it happen anyways any spicy moments oh well that's, this, that's this. exactly my favorite topic so when um, they suggest or they bring up um, the fact that Brad used to be like uh, what Mr. Strip King they call him? Mm-hmm. Um, For the record, I want them to do a. <laughs> oh, Mr. Fr- Strip Club. That's what I called. want that real quick. I know you're talking about this, but I want them to do like Friends, where they go back to they do an episode of what they could have been if they would have went another route. I know that's completely copying how Friends did, but wouldn't that be funny with this group? That's like butterfly effect. Like one change would make like how. I know, but we didn't get to see it. I'm saying like right. they they had done that on Friends. I think I think copy all you want happy endings, people. I feel like every show does. Like, <laughs> Everyone that, copies like, everybody, so get to it. Give that. me what I want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, you got to be all demanding? <laughs> I mean, please, please, please. Okay. We'll see that next season. We'll see yeah. that next season. Um. So how did it get spicy in that? In oh that no, element? just because the fact that they alluded to him having been like Mr. Strip Club King was what they call him. Oh right. And he he was like, yeah, well, back in my day, but not really so much. And, and the way he Jane, smiles. And Jane was down to go to the strip club. She was like, let's do it. That was a spicy moment because most women are kind of. Hush, hush, it's taboo, or it's not appropriate, or ladylike. But Jane was down for the cause to go to the strip club, and I love that. That is spicy. So, ladies. Well, we know it's spicy. Take him yes. To the strip club. Like, that's even a hot date. Tell him that yeah. you're taking him to dinner, but really take him to the strip club. Like yes. cheetahs. Have dinner at cheetahs. This He'll is, love it. This is undisputable. Yes, it's guaranteed what <laughs> so you said. That is not, that is not, not spicy. Ending. Yeah, that is a happy ending's guarantee, of course. Yes. Definitely. Kelly, what did you have uh, recapping the episode? Any last thoughts on it? before we do predictions of what we think should happen on the show. I do like the Facebook stuff for me personally. I like the fact that we always talk about Facebook and Twitter like comments and then that on this episode they got to say, you know, make a reference of that was what could have been the fight. I liked that. That was one of my favorite parts. Yeah, and I I mean I just like seeing them all come together. That's one of my favorite things and the yes. fact that they, you know, little things that they need each other as a group to kind of I think it's funny. Like I would have liked to that. see Max in it more because then, you know, you lose <laughs> one character and you need all of them. You need I all... like seeing him on no. the unicycle. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was no, that was that was so funny. <laughs> with really this, honest, with this really little, with this little, I want to find oh, out with this like little vest. Oh yeah. And yeah. when he put the can on his head, and he then he tipped perfect. it. <laughs> he did. 
Oh, oh when Brad did it, Brad put, yeah, Brad, he got, yeah. Yeah, what was it, popcorn or something? It he was, dumps the popcorn, the and go, goes over there, puts it on, the, and then, yeah, he could, Max continues to perform. And, and then he, he like, tipped the, the, it was, but he's, so he does such oh, great, he's funny. Yeah, I, I, I like that they, like, made his character hibernate, like, it, it just, it made it hilarious. He, he thought that he could add more for So I'm thinking... Well, it's, even though he didn't even have any line, like re, like the grunting, and you look over to him, he's got a ha- his hand in a honey jar. And honey, yes. I mean, that's you know just, you're funny when you don't speak. And you're yeah. You don't even hilarious. have yeah. You don't even have well, to speak. That's what it is. This physical comedy that yeah. these people happen to do. Which again, I said it originally. I like a joke. I don't like physical comedy for the most part. But Alex, I say she's like delivering all her lines in the way she gets up, turns, looks, whispers. I mean, they're they're really hitting it right there. Max didn't say a single word, but he was funny the, yeah. the entire time. So my thought is, being that I now know <laughs> you think happy endings and it's like dirty you know and being, being, <laughs> it is dirty and being, and, being, but, and being that I'm like you know corny jokes I'm like Alex you know like I say things that are like unfunny and offbeat or whatever my point is this show could be summed up as happy endings corny and horny mixed together Cha-ching. maybe I maybe like maybe too much though huh Kelly what do you think I think it is corny and horny mixed together I like that <laughs> but it's really not horny well though. I just saw a tweet that made oh, me it laugh is. and it just says I appreciate happy endings for letting me know that Renee Zellweger is basically a drunk chipmunk what a show <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I love the Twitter comments that we get over here. Um, the best best one today for me is uh, I would like to say Alex, but it's always Penny. It's the way she walks in and she's uh, she's Penny with the she's drinking Pino and she's in the Angela Bassett <laughs> pants. I like, want some Angela she, Bassett she, pants. She, we need to find oh, out if they're real. real. I, yeah. I want to know. I yeah. tweeted it. I want to know if the pants <laughs> are real. Um, Angela, hook oh, me up. Maybe because she was wearing those in a uh, waiting to exhale. Like you know, the, maybe that was where. And it was the girls hanging out. Is that what you're trying to say? Like. Well, I I remember those pants in the film, so maybe she. You know, oh, they re- that's maybe. like a reference to her. Mm. She might not really come out with the line, but we'll I, we'll, we'll have to find out. Say, yeah. We'll so they're they're, they're, they're like Angela they're like the pants, breakup so. woman pant thing. Is that what you're kind of? Well, like they. Well, when you want to throw, you know, when you want to throw some uh, knowledge out, that's the pants that yeah, you help you. Have yeah. Uh, <laughs> all what right. Said, let's uh, carry them in her purse. Let's do uh, some <laughs> predictions on happy endings right about now. Right Mr. about. We're, we're gonna make a noise appear. It'll, it's gonna just come from here to. Boom. He was looking at the wow, Angela Bassett wow, wow. pants. He us. was. <laughs> a, yes, he was. Engineer Paul was. <laughs> Well, I don't know if it would be as, for me, what I'd like to watch as far as my prediction, but I think you girls gravitated to the fact that all three girls got together and they got to powwow, they got to do the slumber party. So I would like to see uh, any way that we could get Alex, Penny, and Jane uh, together. I loved that. Um, in the, so for in the future, I would love to see Penny be the one who's like, you know, kind of just gr- grunts and, and, oh, you know, why why are you guys leaving me out? That's a good look. That's funny. I like okay, – I, so I, like like, I feel like I want to see more of that for sure. Um, I want to see a lot more of Alex doing the, you know, trying to – Let's have Alex. Okay, I'm sorry. What let's have Alex different? try to be as organi- <laughs> organizational driven as 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 a Penny, as a Jane, as her sister. That's what I'd like to see. What? That, no way. Well, 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 trying, well. trying. I okay, said trying. Okay, we're gonna keep you as a TV host and leave the writing up to Princess Penny. <laughs> but you just reminded me. You triggered a thought. I'm sorry. I have to interject. You said I'm not talking. You so said you about the, the summer party. You said about the slumber party with um, Jane and Penny and Alex. I love the fact that Penny and I mean um, with, that Alex and Jane had their own language, and that was another childhood rem- memory because I remember when I was younger, I used to try to create a language with my girlfriends. We weren't very good at it. Oh, say it now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> talk I can't. Talk it just turned, it wound up turning into Spanish. Go for but, it. <laughs> but I thought that was really really cute. That was another childhood memory. Um, so sorry, I had to. I no, had to bring you that up even though we're doing predictions. No. I would like to see you didn't interject because I wasn't speaking. Childhood <laughs> memories. Um, okay, good. Good. That, I liked it too. I would like to see more. I I love like that you guys it. laughed at the clueless thing because I think I think that was a great little beat. Yeah. No, that was good. You. What do you think? I want to see. I've been seeing like a lot of spoilers and stuff, so I kind of want to see what's going to happen. I've been. Oh, like, you know that Colin. Well, I think Colin Hanks is coming on next next week so oh, as what what is he gonna do um i don't know i'm tr- i try not to read too much because i want to be surprised yeah. so we can re- like really yeah. have a genuine reaction to the episode so I, i'm not reading too and much they, into they it but the episode the night before too so we could they watch what it, but i choose not to so i can watch it with you guys oh, yeah, and I, yeah I don't i want to 
But I saw that. I also like kind of heard that maybe Alex and Dave might like have, share a kiss sometime oh, soon. I want to know kind of what's going to happen. Oh, like if that's going to happen, is it going to be like Sincere for real, for real? Or, or maybe it's like a dream? a dream sequence or something. So I don't know. What if it's like forced? What if they have to like kiss for something? Like I don't know. What, I don't what, know. what would make you have to? Uh, something like that. Uh, predictions, I still feel like we need to see a happy endings karaoke moment. Oh, I karaoke. still that am pushing fun. for that. We we've been doing karaoke, and I'm just like thinking, oh my god, this group. In fact, when we do karaoke, I feel like we are the happy endings group no, now. We totally like are. we try to talk like them, and we say amazing, like the way <laughs> the way Penny would say. But I want to see Alex like have a boyfriend for a second. Like I want to see her date yeah, somebody. That would be nice. I mean, because we haven't really seen her date since. And then Dave get jealous. Yeah, we haven't really seen her date since sh- her and Penny had those dates and then uh, they switched. Right, remember? Right. right. right? Yeah. And Dave is Mr. Yeah. Cool. Last week was so funny. I see her like actually go out and like have a guy that she's g- gone out with a couple times is she gonna be head over heels over him or i, I want to see i want her to be interested in someone else she's never in the limelight really no she i want her to come sprinkles in a little jokes bit. in and out i want her to come to the forefront a little bit um all right well i think that wraps it up you guys thank you for joining and hanging out and talking about happy endings of course thank you to our happy endings twitter people that follow us uh, happy rights and of course Prentice Penny, who we will always get your name right. We think you should win every award in the book. You guys are doing your thing over there on Happy Endings. Um, if you want to keep the conversation going and tweet with all of us, mine is at Ronnie Junior Media on Twitter, and yours at Spicy underscore Mari M A R I Spicy underscore Mari. Oh, Mari, not Maddie. I figured Mari is easier for people to say, even <laughs> though, but Mari for you Spanish speakers out there. <laughs> is this a, an official name change right no, here? No, it's not. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe we could do some fun I'm name say, things with the show. Oh, maybe. Alex could want to change her name to Larissa. Oh, they already <laughs> did that. Um, and where can they find Kelly uh, they O? They can find me at Kelly with an I-E-079. All right. Cool. Thank you for watching Happy Endings, the after show. Continue to tweet us Facebook and enjoy the show on iTunes and on YouTube. Spread the word. It's AfterBuzzTV.com. Happy Endings. Thank you for watching. <laughs> From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.